So with that victory, the Georgia men looking to take home another GSC tournament title. They took on Valdosta State, the top seed. First half, Valdosta's Cam Hamilton. He's left wide open in the corner and buries the three-pointer. UAH was down by 14 at one point. But things start to come together for John Schulman's team. Seth Swab drives the baseline, finds J.J. Kaplan in the corner, and he drains the three-pointer from outside. UH knows how they hit the outside shots. Then Sam Orff decides to do some damage with the money shot from behind the key. He gives the Valdosta student section a nice look as he walks off the court. Orff with 14 points, but Chargers were down by two at the break. Let's go to the second half as and Morris Agui gets a nice alley-oop right there. But then after that, things turn around for UAH. Max Schulman, the coach's son, sinks the three-pointer, and that'll help seal the deal for the Chargers. They take down the number one seed, Valdosta State, and win the 2020 GSC tournament by a score of 91 to 82. It's the team's third championship in six years. Our very own Kayla Carlisle, she went down to the Birmingham area today. She had all the action and she's gotten more from the Pete Hanna arena. So the Chargers ended their season the way every team hopes to do so, and that's with a conference championship. Today was the Chargers' fifth title game appearance in the past six seasons, but there was something different about today's game that made that win a little extra sweeter for head coach John Shulman and his players. Listen, when we won it in 05, my first year at Chattanooga, I ain't gonna lie to you, I was happy for me. And then when we won it again in 09, I was happy for me. I was fighting for my contract and fighting. I, I'm not, this is about them. It's about the kids. Colt Shulman holding back his tears when asked about tonight's championship win. This was not about me in the least. It was about those kids. But for the players, tonight's game was fought hard all the way through to the end. Specifically though, for redshirt junior JJ Kaplan, this team has more than just talent. This team is un unbelievably like great team chemistry. Like I, I, I don't mind hanging out with these dudes all the time. I, I want to. And thanks, CJ. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank I. You want to talk about you? <laughs> Do something other uh, They, I don't, I don't get emotional just talking about it. I mean, they put their faith in me, and it feels good, and they trusted me, and yeah, we just brought it back for the first time ever. I'm out of words ever. And the next step for these Chargers is to keep playing ball. The hungrier the dog, the uh, fiercer the bite, and we were starving. We're the hottest team in the country right now, and we're still starving. And we're just, we're ready to go down to Florida and, and do what we do. You're not ready for the season to be over. No. Keep playing until June if we got to. Now, of course, with this win, the Chargers can now look ahead for a spot in the Division II NCAA tournament. But for more on that, I'm going to send it back to the studio with you, Mo. All right, thank you so much, Kayla. Here is a look at the NCAA Division II tournament. And how about this? UAH gets both the men and women into this year's tournament. The UAH women will take on a familiar opponent, Lee, in an 8-1 matchup for the South Regional over in the men's bracket. How about the men also take on Lee in a 4-5 matchup? Congratulations to both teams.